Finally tonight, with the holidays approaching and families arriving, it's not always easy to find a little peace and quiet. It's also increasingly difficult to find the kind of place that often provided that quiet. A good old-fashioned library. It's not that libraries are going away. They are just changing dramatically. Walk into the Bear County Digital Library in San Antonio, Texas, and you'll see plenty of screens, but zero books. This doesn't look like a library. No. That's the point. That's the point. <laughs> Bibliotech, the only public bookless library in America, is the brainchild of Bear County oh, yeah, Judge yeah, Nelson Wolf. This is the Digital Public Library of America. And it would seem you'd be hard pressed to find a less likely backer. Wolf, a collector of rare first print editions, this is his library at home, also pushed through a $38 million print only library for the city in the 90s. Now look at that library today, and I'm proud of it. But I'm saying, what do you do with this? Wolf says bibliotech costs less to operate than traditional libraries. Less space, less workers needed, and provides more. Then one Saturday we went to his village to visit. Ashley Eckloff is the head librarian. We're able to focus more on the patron contact aspect and the community outreach. And we don't have to do all of the, um, the physical processing of the books. Bibliotech was built in a city that is 63% Hispanic. Most in this neighborhood do not have internet access at home. The library lends out inexpensive e-readers, permits downloads from home, and conducts technology classes on site. You see where it says get a free blog here? We found 92-year-old Jesse Vidalis, who just lost his wife of 60 years. He's starting a blog to remember her. Oh, I could be writing that all day long. What did he do? In the back room, a space for children. They're all education-oriented kind of games with cutting-edge tablets amazing, as big as the kids using them. I don't remember this being in my library no, at home. No, I don't think so. <laughs> the $2.4 million project has not come without criticism, though. The vast majority of newer, popular titles are not available. Publishers simply charge too much for the e-books. There are some who say that this idea is ahead of its time. It probably is, a little bit ahead of time. We can't get every book that we want in an e-format. Oh, and we are paying more for them, so we probably are a little bit ahead. To those who are still saying, I, I want my physical books, yeah. I don't want e-readers, yeah. what do you say? Well, <laughs> I'm saying come join the new age, I did. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Wolf is expecting 100,000 visitors in the library's first year, and he's aiming to build more bookless libraries soon.